some better lighting in here. How's that? Nope. Oh, oh that's still good. Okay. Ah, there we are. That's slightly better. Anyway, it's not about the lighting. Um, for those of you that don't know, Daniel Thomas, his YouTube channel is uh, Pee Wee Toms. He's a guy that was battling terminal cancer up until yesterday, but unfortunately he passed away at the age of 32. Yeah, no age at all. Um, it was quite an aggressive uh, form of cancer. But anyway, he's documented the whole, not the whole journey, but the last nine months to a year or so on uh, YouTube. Let's see if I can get any better light on that, that's rubbish. On YouTube. Um, with a great deal of uh, humour as well, where he can, you know. Um, towards the end, obviously, I will not say towards the end, but throughout he was in a lot of pain. Um, but he always managed to crack a smile or crack a joke or try and be as light-hearted, this light in is really is rubbish, as light-hearted as possible. Um, until really, until the last sort of week, um, even his last his last ever video. If you check out his channel, I'll put a link down below to the channel. Uh, even his last video, his very very last video, he still he, he still cracked a cracked a funny, as I say, you know. And it's, I just found the guy such an inspiration as to the way he was dealing with this this terrible uh, disease. Um, it just there's no word, there's not not really a lot you can say. I just wanted to for those of you that don't know, and I don't know how many of you know who he is. That stupid thing out here. I don't know how many of you know who he is or was. Sorry, um, but the way he dealt with it <coughs> and the way he kept uh, YouTube or his viewers informed. You know, he didn't have to do that, did he? He, he, he had enough, must have had enough to cope with on his own. Um, I just found it so, it was so inspirational. To, somebody that's got terminal illness and has been given, I mean, initially, he outlived the initial, uh, oh, what's the word, the length of time he was first given. He blasted that. Um, and it was really, looking at the uh, videos, it was really only in the last sort of, from what I saw, and my this is only my opinion, the last sort of week to two weeks that he really went downhill. Obviously he was suffering a lot before that. But the guy was just um, such an inspiration into making you realise what is important in life. You know, everyone pines over material things like they wish they had a, I don't know, a nicer car or could go on more holidays and all this kind of stuff, a bit more money and stuff. But... What he made, well, he made me realise really. You know, if you've got your health, you can basically do the world's your oyster. And this guy wanted the world to be his oyster. He, you know, he wanted to live, live life, basically live life to the full. And it's, it's not really. It. Well, I don't know if you'd call it a tribute to the guy, but uh, it's just so sad. I mean, it knew. Obviously, we knew it was coming. Um, it just there's not a lot. It's just such an inspiration. I just found him the, the way he dealt with things, and <clears throat> he only got married three weeks, two three weeks ago, you know, and uh, just a shame. Just such a shame. That's about all you can really say about it. Um, yeah, but uh, his channel will still be up there. His channel will still be there for presume forever everyone to see uh, so yeah if you haven't already checked it out I suggest you do go and check it out but I just wanted to I don't really know what to say but I just wanted to make a little video a little something so you're going to stop there just something to commemorate I suppose or to to thank him I suppose that's the wrong word as well but 
if some good can come out of all this that he and it's not just him there's thousands of people suffering but he's made it public by keeping it live on YouTube well, not live but you know what I mean recording it on YouTube and if any ounce of good can come out of this like you know somebody finding a lump or something like that early on and getting it seen to as soon as possible and if, if just one life can be saved from this guy's courage and this guy's inspiration and the way he dealt with his illness and he unfortunately didn't survive then I guess it's not been completely in vain has it and anyway uh, I'll put the link down below there's a there's a he's got a, his YouTube channel is Pee Wee Tom's um, <clears throat> there's also a Facebook page Pee Wee Tom's community something or other like that uh, there's an Instagram um, page as well, and I think there's a website uh, where he does blogs and stuff. Uh, I'll put all the links down below, but anyway, if, you know, just cheers, Dan. Thanks, you know, for everything that you, you shared with us, with us and the, with me and the world. And uh, just one final thing, I suppose. Uh, in the words of how he would end it, Ta-ta. Bye-bye.